Hey everybody, this is Martin Patel from Life Enthusiast, online TV, radio, and internet broadcasting. I have with me today Elijah Free, Master Herbalist at Earth Friend Herbs. Elijah, thank Hi, you Martin. for spending time with us. Good to be here again. All right. Hey, Elijah, we were talking about uh, cellular function and the fact that you are able to support the... Um, the appropriation of nutrients that oftentimes is not working so well. Mm -hmm. Can you explain? Oh, we have a product that is so exciting, Martin. I can hardly wait to tell you about. It's actually in two parts, but mostly the first one is the one we use the most. is called Cell Ease and Cell Ease Support. Let me tell you what Cell Ease for. This is very exciting. Um, there is a um, genetic uh, variant or mutation that a lot of people have called MTHFR on it. Approximately, they say between 30 and 40% of the population has one or the other of the variants. I do on that. And there's two variants. They're called, you do, okay, here we go. Two out of two, folks. That's how common it is. And it makes what is commonly called um, autoimmune syndrome. I wouldn't call it a disease because of the fact it's not exactly a disease, but rather you could say a collection of an incredible amount of varying type of symptomologies, which can go from not too bad to remarkably unpleasant to actually can cause death and uh, destruction of the body uh, with all of that. Um, and a lot of that is actually able to occur because of the MTHFR variants. They're commonly the 677 and the 1298 is their numbers on the actual um, genetic codes, things over there like that. You can have one or the other, or you could have both of those. Now, when a person has MTHFR, such as myself or Martin mentioned, which causes autoimmune, it causes several very important and rather unpleasant things to the cell. Okay, so let's say that there's three things that this does to the cell that's deleterious, the MTHFR. The first thing it does is it inhibits the good nutrition going into the cell. The reason is it makes the cell less permeable, okay? So something which naturally can pass through a membrane no longer can pass through in the ease it can. So only a portion gets through. So a whole lot of the good nutrients, you could be eating the best foods and the best nutrients and everything. You're not getting them on it. Uh, one thing our formulas do is they bypass that actually by going into the mucous membranes of the mouth. As I've mentioned before, they absorb right in there if you take them straight and don't put them in water. So the cellies then, the first thing it does, which is really, really bad, is it prevents the good things from getting in. So then we can figure it prevents the bad things from getting out. So toxins build up in the cells, poisons build up in the cells. When that happens, we call it disease state is ready to occur. But the third thing is actually the worst. In our body, uh, our cells respond and do proper things by chemical signals, which are given off by the brain and various different glandular and hormones and parts of the body. So here you've got a complete signal, but now that signal can no longer get into the cell through the cell wall, Martin. So what happens is it skews and distorts the signal. So imagine here, you've got your computer, and you've got over here um, that external drive and you want to talk together. Well, imagine if only a portion of that information exchanged. Well, what happened is you go, well, I wanted to do this and the program's making mistakes and doing all kinds of things. So as a result, when that occurs and the cell gets the wrong signal, it then says, oh, I guess I'm supposed to do this and manifests in an inappropriate or improper way because of the chemical signal that then ends up manifesting as um, autoimmune disease or autoimmune syndrome or autoimmune problem or illness or sickness, anything you want to call it. Yeah, this reminds now, me of talking to somebody who's hard of hearing, right? What's that? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> talking to somebody who's hard of hearing. Yeah, exactly. You know, they, they think they heard you say you don't want to go fishing, but you are talking about going shopping. There you go. Exactly, exactly. So you're getting that wrong signal. So along comes Sully. Ta -ta. Okay, if this was a superhero movie, okay, you're talking like four. <laughs> you're talking the big guns, 
you know, Lord of Thunder. Okay, we're talking good stuff over here. All right. So what uh, Sully does is it normalizes this. So it goes in and instantly it makes the cell permeable once again. Oh, this is just gorgeous. So the good things get in, the bad things get out. But glory be, you can tell I'm pretty excited. I use this a lot in my work and uh, in my offices, medical uh, healing offices, is what it does is it corrects the signal going in. It, be, it allows the signal, but because we're earth friend, we couldn't let it go at that. We built a signal booster into it. So not only does it allow the signal to go through, it strengthens the signal. Kind of like you've got a big house, your router is over here, and way over there you're not getting the signal. So you put a signal booster in there, now the signal's perfect all throughout the house. So now the signal is corrected through there, and it's wonderful, it begins to work right away. And what it does, it helps to deter, lessen, and even make non-existent many, 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 many of the effects of um, MTHFR, which in my theory working, which works really well in my practice, is the precursor to many, many other diseases, which are autoimmune in nature. Okay, now what the Celli support does, it's basically an anti-inflammatory that goes along with that. If you have an inflammatory condition going along with the MTHFR, which is very common, then the Celli support you take along with that. But that's so how we, I would decide is that I may have the genetic precursor, but if I already have some sort of a um, illness, diagnosable illness going, then the booster would be probably helpful. Or something inflammatory. What we do is we encourage people to get tested for this. Okay, it's not, you know, it's one of those, oh, I'm pretty sure I have it routines. You may or you may not on that. I've had people come in that would swear up and down they did and they didn't on it. I can usually tell when I meet a person on that by the symptomology, but please go online, put an MTHFR testing. There's a lot of great places. There's one that I use, but I'm not going uh, to necessarily endorse them. They're, they're all oh, the same. You get the test back usually about two to three weeks. It's a, it's a swab. You put it in, swab it around and get it back. And they usually right. tell you, you have one or the other, or both of the mutations. Right. Yeah, I did it with the Ancestry. Uh, no, actually, I used the 23andMe, but the Ancestry uh -huh. people do the same thing. Yeah. You just do the big picture, and then I took my data set and sent it to one of the uh, evaluation companies. Mm -hmm. I actually had used the self-hacked, and um, they, they just put out pretty darn good reports telling you what's what and why. Yeah. It's, it, it, to me, when I found out that's what I had. It was the life changer, really, in my health. I'll be 69 in a few months, well, in the fall. And I have to tell you, the level of my health has increased by taking the cellies as part of my formulations um, with that and treating myself for that. Uh, within a, a few days, I found more energy, my skin looked better, I'm digesting better, all kinds of things. So they're little things. Um, from that, I actually have... Um, psoriasis, which you can't tell here, which I haven't been able to clear for years. As I mentioned earlier, one of the other ones, I got poisoned by a dentist and got very, very ill. And after that, I ended up with psoriasis. The stress triggered out that mutation um, that I have. And I haven't been able to clear it up, but we got something new we're doing, which actually we're going to be releasing in the fall, which is the next step for treating autoimmune. It's pretty right. exciting. Let's just tell people that it's coming. It's coming. It's theater near you. Announced for the fall of 2019, who knows? Yeah, we'll make it. No, we're going to make it by the end of the fall before the first day of winter, Mark, you'll have. All right. Yeah, we're <laughs> very deep into the testing and it's going very well. We're way past beta stage. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much, Elijah. Any That's other right. points that we have missed about the cellies? Use it for uh, inhibited uh, absorption, inhibited detoxification. Um, and uh, the MTHFR. Yep, all yeah. of the issues. I mean, there is a very long litany of autoimmune type of diagnoses. Last I checked, it was over 200. They include labels such as fibromyalgia, scleroderma, vitiligo, Hashimoto, um, Sjogren's. MS. MS, yeah. Neurological degeneration, that's where we've been doing. We've been doing MS and neurological degenerations right now, along with other neurological problems. So all of these now. are a good candidate for uh, oh. using the cell ease to help 
strengthen your function at the cellular level? Truthfully, and I won't say this about any other formula here, is anybody with MTHFR should really be on the cell lease and the cell lease support. I'll, I, you know, I, I would never say, oh, everybody depressed should be on the Moody's or weak should be on the adrenal. But very truthfully, it was such a life changer for me on that. Is I would love to see other people just have that experience, especially in my age group. Wonderful. Thank you, Elijah. This is Martin Patella for Life Enthusiast. And you can reach me at life-enthusiast.com or 1-866-543-3388. We are restoring vitality to you and to the planet. Thank you.